what we'd like to do in terms of the posters, um, make something that's cooler, that, that's hipper, because although it's uh, got sort of semi-comedy elements, it's important to say it's a quite a classy film. And one of the big things, of course, is George Clooney. So um, it's going to be important, I think, to, to push George Clooney, stay away from the horror angle, and, and try not make it a, another Reservoir Dogs, another Pulp Fiction, because it's most definitely not that. First off, Graham makes rough sketches of possible designs. At this stage, he's really just thinking on paper. Then he selects images for inclusion, production stills, shots of the stars, photos from picture libraries. He scans a sunset shot into the computer, where he can combine it with other elements like text. Well, my original idea was to use the sunset, the sort of warmth, those colours, then like have the fire as well, so the whole thing just becomes really, really hot and fiery, evoking danger. The protagonists have to basically move from dusk till dawn throughout the film and survive, and just by suggesting this period of time, we decided to use a clock, just subtly put into the background, though, so without actual hands, just the numerals. Also, we have shots of um, George Clooney, Tarantino, Juliette Lewis and Harvey Cartel, all fairly good shots which work together. We've got them looking out of the poster with all their various weapons, and that suggests that there are like, more people, more characters out there beyond the bounds of the poster. Contractually, uh, when you have the names at the top of the poster, they have to be, in this case, no smaller than 25% of the title size, the title being you know, the actual words, Dust Till Dawn. But Graham doesn't just produce one design. The final posters are working through of many ideas, abandoning some and developing others, until the client is happy. The printers make colour separation plates which are used on the printing presses, one for each of the four inks which make up the final poster. Yellow, cyan, magenta and black. The paper goes through the four rollers, which apply each of the inks in turn, building up the colour. The printer checks one of the first posters off the press against a chromalin a version of the poster with the approved colour grading. It's far too red, so he adjusts the controls to compensate. A colour bar helps the printer to assess the grading. It's now all right, but it's also important to make sure that the plates are all perfectly aligned so that the poster is printed in register. Otherwise, it will look blurred. If you look closely at a printed picture, you'll see that it's made up of lots of separate colour dots. The denser the dots, the deeper the colour. And once the poster is designed and printed, it's ready to start earning its keep. 